Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello, Angular Connect. My name is Niall Crosby. I'm the founder of AG Grid. Um, just a, a quick show of hands. Who's actually heard of AG Grid? Yeah, it's quite about just over half. And who's actually used AG Grid? Wow. That's about one fifth of the people, maybe a bit more. Um, to me, that's absolutely amazing because about four years ago, AG Grid didn't exist. This was a project that grew into a company and where it is today with so many customers and so many downloads. And right now, there's about a quarter of a million downloads of AG Grid every month, uh, which to me is phenomenal. Um, hey, thank you. And uh, yeah, we're based out of London. Uh, we have 15 people working full time in the company. And um, it's the sales that pays our salaries. We don't have VC. So it's amazing for me to be able to build this company up based on the success of the product and getting customers. Uh, what I'm going to show today is for those of you who haven't heard of AG Grid, I'm going to give you just a quick introduction of some of the features to try and let you understand how this has kind of grown so quickly. And for that, I'm going to introduce you to an example. So um, this is a data grid, lots of rows, lots of columns. This example here has 10,000, I'd had, and now it's just gone. <laughs> Damn it, that's into my search history. Let's bring that back to forward. Phew, very risky. I'll know to reboot my machine before I do a presentation next time. <laughs> OK, I've got 10,000 rows. Um, and I'm going to make these, this data a bit bigger so you can see it down the back. OK? Now, to make this interesting, um, I'm going to give live updates to the grid. So I'm going to inject 1,000 updates per second. And I can see here, when I go to the right where all the data is, the um, green values say a value has gone up, and then the red indicators show a value has gone down. Now, that's only updating a tiny part of the DOM because I can only see a small set. It gets really interesting when I start doing grouping. So on the left-hand side here, I've got my different dimensions that I can group by. I'm going to group by product and then portfolio and then book. So I'll drag product up and drop it up to the group zone. And I'll do the same for portfolio and drop it up to the group zone. And I'll do the same for book and drop it up to the group zone. I'll bring product around as the first one here. Now here you can see the values are updating a lot on the right-hand side. And the grid is doing two things here, which is pretty cool in terms of speed. The first is the values that are getting updated are these ones down here at the bottom. It's the leaf level values. And then the grid is aggregating at the different levels at the groups to update the group levels as well. So not only is it a challenge processing all of these updates and put them into the DOM, it's challenged with getting the aggregations correct at the group level also. And I'm going to bring your attention to deal type here, where I've got financial. There's also another value called physical. So a deal type can be financial or physical. And a bid can be buy or sell. And I'm going to pivot on those columns. So I've got these tool panels here on the right-hand side. This is for managing columns. This is for managing filters. If I go to the columns one, and I'm going to, um, there's going to be a lot of data here. So I'm going to remove all of my values and click on the pivot mode. And I'm going to bring in just two values to pivot on, current and previous. So here I've got current and previous, still grouped by the same three, three uh, dimensions, product, portfolio, and book. And I'm going to bring deal type. And if you remember, deal type is physical or financial. I'll bring that up to the pivot section. And it's now pivoted. I can see here I've got columns now representing where it used to be rows. And then I'll bring bid. And I'll bring that up to the pivot section as well. And I'll close the columns. So here I've got pivoting by two dimensions, and then grouping by three dimensions on the left-hand side. And all of this still working with all of the 1,000 updates coming into the grid, and the aggregations and pivoting being kept up to date on the fly. And then as a final little trick, I'll just bring this down. I'll apply a sort. Hey. And to me, I'll call that the money shot. That's like showing so many things working at the same time and still being really, really fast inside the grid. Um, so that's AG Grid. Uh, if you want to know more about it, um, you can go to our website where you can see all the different features. And if you want to know even more, um, we do have an AG Grid conference. We did one in New York last month. And this month, on the 29th of November, we're doing one in London. It's a half-day conference all about AG Grid. Go to ag-grid-conf.com to see more. And then finally, we're also hiring. So the next big thing for us next year is we're going to delve into charting. And we're building a team from scratch to do the charting component of our library. So um, if you're someone who's got experience with building the charting library and would like to come work for us, then um, please come speak to me or email jobs at aggrid.com. OK? And with that, I'll let you back to the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you.